All right, man. What's going on, everybody? It's been a little while. It's been about a week, to be perfectly honest. How's everybody doing today? Um, where is everyone at? Are you guys going to be here? Someone better start talking right now. Hey, all right, good stuff. Uh, hanging out by the pond here in the beginning, and then we're going to get up. I'm going to walk around, show you guys what's kind of new. Um, relaxing day. A little overcast. Partly cloudy, mostly sunny. Kind of like most of our hearts, if that makes any sense. Not at all. But uh, where is everybody? Uh, usually right now we have some folks asking questions. But, um, hmm, I think it's frozen. Interesting. There we go. There's everybody. All right. Okay, there's all the questions. What's up, everybody? Sorry. Uh, it looks like the comments were frozen there for a moment. Um, good to see everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, T and Putter, what's up? Just back from South Africa. Cool. Hi, Linda Fennelly. Uh, Kevin Davidkin, what's going on? Uh, Fernie Les, what's up, dude? Spooky, hey, hello. Uh, yeah, so I'm just chilling. Wearing my buddy Rob Nolly's uh, BMX Trick Stars hat. If you guys need a uh, really cool, fun BMX show uh, for your special event or school, check out the BMX Trick Stars. These are my pals. Uh, and there you go. You can contact them. Just Google them. Find them on uh, Instagram, too, BMX Trick Stars. They do a really cool show. Other than that, things are great, man. Um, I am uh, very excited. Later on, I'm going to meet up with Kyle. And uh, he and I are having a meeting about the Jupiter Exotic Animal Sanctuary. Uh, which is moving along. We've got all of our stuff in, waiting for the government to give us the old check, and uh, we will be up and running, uh, at least on paper. Then it's the long, arduous journey of uh, building the sanctuary, which will bring you all those stories right here on the Camp Kennan channel as it happens. Uh, Thanksgiving's next week, so I just wanted to be thankful. We'll probably do a video on Thanksgiving too, why won't we? Uh, so it'd be pretty cool. Uh, so, awesome. Uh, and uh, what else? We've got the pond guy, Greg Whitstock, and uh, my buddy Jack, uh, how do you say his, Harju? Jack Harju from Atlantis Water Gardens and Ed Ballou coming here beginning of December. And we're going to build a stream waterfall for the leopard tortoises to drink out of. Sort of similar to that, but a little bit less uh, cascading. We just got a little water on the phone, no worries. Uh, I am being lazy right now, but I promise I'm going to get up in a moment and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a little wander and see some of the critters here at the camp. I just wanted to make sure I got everything uh, off my chest, if you will. Uh, can you guys do me a favor? This would really help me out. I normally don't do this, but you know what? I'm getting more and more motivated these days because we are building an empire and you folks are helping us and uh, I love it, man. Uh, you know, there's so much stuff out there. It's just all sensationalism and nonsense. And I really feel like you guys at Camp Kennan Army are about uh, the animals and we are about getting real information out there, but having a fun and entertaining time. So what I would like you guys to help me out is I'm hoping I can get to 100,000 on my Instagram channel. So go to Instagram, Camp Kennan, hit follow if you like seeing the videos. There's all sorts of new videos up there, uh, little musings, different funny stuff. Uh, so if you guys can help me get to 100,000, I really would appreciate it. Uh, so that's Cam Kennan on Instagram. And also, we got to definitely say thanks to all you Patreon supporters out there. You guys have been awesome. You guys are kicking butt. You're helping us make these videos. Uh, we really love the fact that you guys are sending your questions in to patreon.com slash Cam Kennan. Whatever you guys can afford to do for us, it really helps feed the animals, take care of things here, and produce these videos. Uh, so thank you very much. Go to patreon.com to help us out with that. Now, I can just go ahead and flip this camera and we'll start wandering around as promised. There's one of the elongated tortoises right now, that's the male. Uh, these guys have just ate, just ate a little bit. And uh, as you can see, one of the females is being a little cheeky and she's kind of eating some of this alligator flag, but I love these tortoises. And one thing you'll notice, you see this notch right here, guys? Um, interesting story about these elongated tortoises. These tortoises were actually imported uh, years ago and rescued from the food markets in Asia. Uh, these tortoises right here, uh, these marks were actually the remains of some tethered holes, some, some holes that they would tie the turtles up and hang them up, the tortoises up, uh, so that people could choose which one they wanted to eat. And uh, that's kind of a bummer, but now they live in the uh, 
in the aquascape pond area and uh, well they're free to eat whatever plants they want you remember I used to have these elephant ears but they ate those all up a long time ago but the pond's doing very well there's uh, the remainder of the philodendron they've eaten and uh, yeah the pond is just kicking major butt love it it's really maturing and uh, it's become a really nice ecosystem here here's some of the fish I don't know if you guys can see them all all the cichlids in the pond, the three amigos, the, the albino Oscars are in there doing their thing. We've got the baby Badiger borneensis are underneath their driftwood. And then right over there, you see the good old, oh, I'm trying to see, but the comments are screwing me up because I'm not able to actually zoom in. Oh, there we go. All right, there's one of the Amidura subligosa hanging out. Really, really cool. Do you guys want to see something really neat? Sure now, if you have Instagram and you follow along on my Instagram, you know that I hatched out a really special little tortoise this week. I hatched out a radiator tortoise. Okay, by the way, don't mind the house. It's a mess. The house is a complete mess. We've been doing a lot of work and, uh, you know, there you go. So right now, in here, in this quickly makeshift, oh, look at him. He's sunbathing. Look, he's just heating up. It's a baby radiated tortoise. Let's, let's see what's going on with that little guy. Oh, man, it looks like uh, irradiated. Get it? Irradiated, radiated tortoise. Let's get this little booger up. So, oh, come here, little one. So exciting. Let's get you out here, buddy. Oh, yes, how beautiful is that? And you can see his little egg tooth right there, everyone. Isn't that neat? So amazing. He's got a little bit of an irregular scoot, but I don't care. Look at how beautiful he looks. He or she, I can't really tell uh, what, uh, what sex it is. But aren't they just amazing? Look at that. And there's his little uh, egg yolk. And uh, very neat. Uh, no, red light's not bad for reptiles. It's just a night light, a little heat lamp. And I've got the natural, uh, the natural UVB going as well. I've never heard red light being bad so uh, I don't know if you've heard something I haven't heard, but I've never had a problem with it. He was just sunbathing. Uh, but look at that guy, so beautiful. And he's just so active and he wants to walk around. And I found him flipped over in the water dish. So I emptied out that water dish. It was really for the little rhino iguanas, which are currently in here as well. There they are. There's the rhinos, they're hiding out. Let's see what they think of this little booger as he moves closer. Oh my gosh, they're just trying to not be seen. Oh, waking them up. There we go. Whoa, there they go, little rhinos moving about. All right, so good times. Good times in the old incubation room. And I did a video with, um, with our friend uh, Paul Kafari yesterday. You might wanna check that out. I'm not sure if he's gonna release it today or if he's gonna release it tomorrow, but take a look at Paul's channel for a really fun egg collecting video. We found a heap of eggs here the other day. Here's the backyard, everybody. Uh, lots going on back here. So I haven't done, hi Gobind, Pandit from India, how you doing? Uh, Linda K. Fredrickson's dreaming about having two silk cottages, but the cold climate in Norway uh, is not a good, yeah, not good for them. We got some silk cottages out here. You're just gonna have to move somewhere south if you can, if not, just pick a smaller species that you're able to keep uh, in Norway, which I'd love to visit one day because I hear it's beautiful. All right, look at the leopard tortoises. So here's their enclosure, guys. No grass, I've been tearing it up because there's gonna be a lot of construction in this area in February. Uh, the guys from Aquascape are coming and we're gonna do that wreck pond. So we'll be able to do some really cool videos from that pond. Kyle is working hard on the swimming with pool uh, apparently the permit just got approved, so Kyle's gonna have that pool up and running in a few months. Hopefully we'll get back to some really cool swimming widths. Uh, in the meantime, this is what's going on here. What's up? East, the Beast Challenges. That's a beautiful radiated tortoise. Can you shout out zketortoises.com? Thanks, Kenneth, for all the information you have given me. Keep it up. Thanks, East, the Beast Challenges, and uh, there's your shout out, zketortoises.com. Uh, we are wandering around this enclosure. Now, guys, this is where we are going to be putting a new, really cool waterfall. It's going to come down here, a little stream. So we're going to put the stream. It's going to meander its way through here. And then it'll have a reservoir where it disappears under the ground. But we're going to fake it. Uh, we're going to fake it. And we're going to pretend like it continues on to there. So when it rains, it will overflow and flow into the main pond there. Uh, someone's saying that my mic has uh, water on it. I don't know. 
Can you guys hear me okay? Sorry. It's just, I do the lives from the old iPhone. Uh, let's see. B. Maimon, loving what you do. Can you give me ideas how to transmission a sulcata tortoise from 100% leafy greens to Missouri diet? Uh, just mix it in quiet. Uh, mix it in. Uh, and start to remove over time the leafy greens, but to be honest leafy greens are really good So you never want to completely remove it. Uh, what you want to do here's some here's some uh, leopard tortoises right now and the leopard tortoises are uh, Similar species in that they eat the same things that the good old Sulcatas eat so what I would do is start feeding those leafy greens and add in a little bit of the uh, Missouri, I would moisten the Missouri and mash it all up so that you can mix it in with the lettuce. And then from there, slowly remove some of the lettuce. Uh, another way to do it is to just not feed the tortoise for a little while. It's not gonna hurt your tortoise. Uh, don't feed them for a little while, sometimes up to two weeks. Yes, I said that. Um, but what'll happen is they'll get so hungry, they'll eat everything. So just, you can do it that way as well. I prefer the slow and steady method just kind of mixing things in and then removing the item that they may be uh, addicted to or prefer and this way you can get them going that way all right there's a big heosemis grandis look at the size of that sucker whoa big tortoise and if you uh quickly look at paul cafaro's instagram story you'll see that we found a really cool uh or lydia boniensis yesterday and i pulled it out and he has it on his story some more leopards wandering around so the leopards really have a large enclosure which you guys know i love this love big enclosures really really uh fun for me more difficult to find the eggs but you know what i'm really just concerned about the quality of life of the animals but guys, soon there's going to be a really cool pond in this area. Uh, it's going to be awesome, man. So I'm really excited. So uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. It's snowing in Missouri. Oh, my gosh. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, if you guys saw the video this week on Sunday, you know that Big Al uh, didn't make it. And I'm super bummed about that. So unfortunately, uh, this pond will never be the same because it was so much fun having that little guy swimming around the pond. So that was kind of a bummer. But you know what's cool, guys, is um, I'm waiting on my renewed uh, class two wildlife permit, which enables me to have alligators, uh, caiman and dwarf crocodile. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I, uh, in fact, get a new member of the camp of the crocodilian persuasion. So that will be awesome, guys. We're gonna have a new crocodilian mascot here at the camp. And I think I know a guy that can help me out with that. Uh, there's another leopard. Let's go see the snow leopards. Check them out. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll answer some questions. Uh, is the mic on the phone? It's bad pickup when he turns away from it. All right, I'm going to just stay real close to the phone. And uh, this way, I think it has a front. It depends on when I switch the camera. So if I switch the camera to face me, I think the mic is uh, forward directional. So here's uh, the male tortoise. I'm still talking. Can you guys hear me better now? What do you think? Uh, what's up, Wicked Wildlife? Finally catching a live video. Look forward to seeing you. And New Perns, you've motivated us to move several of the critters outdoors. Wicked Wildlife, listen, you guys got to go check out Wicked Wildlife. I really like this guy. Uh, I'm partial to anyone with an Australian accent. Uh, but he does some really cool videos. You can check them out on our Camp Kennan Army YouTube channel. Uh, you can also check out his YouTube channel. I think he has some great info on a lot of the uh, snakes that are native to Australia. And he just had a really cool video about the Mulga, uh, which is, I learned a lot from him. And uh, looking forward to meeting you one day, buddy. I mean, I, I see your videos. I love the way, uh, the passion you have. And I would love to do a collaboration with you in Australia if I could just get down there. So everybody listening in this feed, check out Wicked Wildlife. He's got my approval. He's passionate. He's fun. He's a really intelligent lad. And, uh... Get on over there, okay? Can you guys still hear me? I hope you can hear me. I'm gonna talk loud. Uh, let's, let's see an Australian reptile now. We're going over here to our Merton's monitor enclosure. And every time I come over, the little weasel is not around. Come on, man. I wanna show you guys how awesome he is doing. If you will permit me to dig around. Uh, what do you think? Do you guys have the patience? Are you going to dig around? And by the way, Wicked Wildlife, thank you, mate, for uh, the contribution to the channel. I really do appreciate it, man, and I hope I get to meet you. But let's see if we can get to meet an Australian monitor. And of course, he's not in his box. You know why? Because he's a pain in the neck. He likes to dig around and hide in the mulch. Let's just look up here. Nothing over here. 
gosh, this, this might be frustrating. I don't know, is this gonna lose steam if I dig around for this uh, critter? Are you guys gonna be mad at me because I'm gonna put you up here and we're just gonna have a fixed shot. I'm not able to see what you're saying right now. All right, I can't see. I'm yelling at my phone so you can hear me. We are gonna find the Mertens monitor. Come hell or high water, I know he's in here, people. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of my mind today. Hang tight with me, here. Don't go anywhere, we're all hanging out. So this guy, this is my likely spot right down here as there is a hole. So I'm gonna just dig in here and hopefully not get bitten by Marty the Merton's monitor. Where the heck is he? He's such a, such a critter, man. Ah, uh, still looking. I don't think he's in there. Is he in here? Oh, I know. This is so frustrating, guys. I really just want to see this lizard. Not in there. Oh, man. I don't know if this is going to work, and I don't want to wait, waste too much time. Ugh. That's the one problem with these enclosures. Ugh. When you have a nice size enclosure, it's a little more difficult for the uh, critter to be found, you see? He's not in the water. Whatever. Let's go see something else. You people want action. I want to give it to you. Hope I'm loud enough. Still trying to talk loud for you. Make sure you can hear me. What about Pinky? Let's see Pinky. I know she's easy to find. She's a bit larger. And don't worry, I see the Martin's monitor, Merton's monitor every morning. He comes out for a basket. Oh, hello. Well, hello, Pinky. Say hello to everyone here live. Watch, she'll give you guys a little whip. Don't you do it, be nice. So she's doing really good. Um, she wants to whip you, but I won't let that happen. Oh, she got us, she got us. Anyway, uh, she's doing well, no eggs. She's eating nicely. She's actually calmed down quite a bit and she's hanging out here uh, right in her beautiful enclosure, which I'm super happy with. She's a little bit easier to find because she's less shy than the Mertens. The Mertens, for whatever reason, it's a little bit of a scaredy cat. But, uh, you know, time and patience will fix all that. All right, let's go over to the one and only. Let's go over to Slinky's abode. I've done a whole heap of work, though. I'll show you what I did. I did, like, tear out my old um, enclosure, the old house for these tortoises, the red, uh, the cherry heads. Oh, you know what we can do live? Do you guys want to do something fun live? How about we do something fun? Ugh, okay, see all this? There's been some action over here. Let's see if we can dig up some bad cherry head eggs. I knew I had to get them out of the ground. Oh, check it out. Bam! Ha <laughs> ha! There's one. Uh, almost there. Uh, there's two. Uh, what else? Do I have another? No. All right. Only two eggs, but that's pretty neat. How exciting. Two cherry head. Two cherry head tortoise eggs, and there are some of the culprits that lay them. Hanging out right here. Sweet. Love it. Uh, I don't want to bring these in with Slinky because Slinky will eat them. Oh, you know what, though? Let's go dig up some more cherry head eggs. I'm going to put... These go, oh, they're gonna come with me. Hopefully the uh, signal reaches this far. Let's test it. This is kind of a junk pile, don't mind that. Uh, I guess I'm getting too far from the, uh, getting too far from the old thing. We're freezing a little bit, someone said, but I'm gonna get these eggs out real quick. These were eggs we didn't get yesterday. Let's see, look at this, it's another, it's another spot. And I know these eggs were here because I watched them lay, watched the female dig the nest. So more cherry heads, look. How cool is that? We got two, three eggs in this pile. Awesome, all right. And so don't worry about rotating them. They've, they've not been in the ground more than 24 hours. Let's get back to where this camera won't freeze any longer. 
But isn't that awesome, guys? We dug up some eggs today on camera, live. We're gonna put them in the incubator when I get out. Woohoo! Yeah, Paul. Paul's watching, dude. You gotta watch Paul's video. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Logan. Let's go say hello to Slinks. I'm gonna gently put, look at this, look at this little guy. Oh no, oh, he just disappeared. Little side neck turtle snake necker. All right, so we got more eggs. Let's go pet Slinky, everybody. It's Slinky, it's Slinky, I love the Slinky man. You gotta sing the Slinky song whenever you get over. And you gotta all call him. Come on, Slinks, get over here. Come say hello to us. There he is, handsome and beautiful. What's up? All the way from Puerto Vallarta. All right, what's going on, brother? Uh, hi, Noah. Hey, Slinky, Noah Sands says hello to you. Come say hello to Noah. Come here, Slinks. Come on over here. All right, cool, man. So Paul Kafaru is on the line. He's watching us, people. You got to check out the video we shot. It's a lot of fun. What's up, Francisco Textera from Portugal? Um, awesome. You going to bite me? Do you smell those eggs? Don't you bite your hand. That feeds you, Slinky. Oh, shit. He's coming after my hand. He smells that it's the egg hand. Let's pet him with the non-egg hand. That's a good boy. Don't bite me live on camera. I have not been bitten by Slinky ever and I don't want to start now. And if I did get bit, I would think that it's a mistake. Now, recently, our buddy Tom Crutchfield put a video with his wife, Stacy Crutchfield, feeding their crocodile monitors. And if you know anything about monitors, you know croc monitors have the largest teeth of any lizards, even larger than the Komodo dragon. And they have a notoriously vicious bite. Now, they smelt the meat on her hands and never, ever bit her. And I'm suspecting that Slinky would do the same thing. Maybe he just got interested because he smelled the eggs, but he's not actually going to do it. Now, someone else gave us a donation, Stacy Willingham. My son wants to open a reptile sanctuary when he gets older because of me and my videos. Uh, I'm, she says you and your videos. He is seven. Could you give a shout out to the Willinghams? Uh, you would make his day. Oh, well, that's awesome, Stacy. And young, I don't know his name or I'd shout out his name. What's his name? Well, young Willingham. Uh, keep up the good work, keep reading about animals, and uh, keep paying attention in school, and do your chores, that's how you get a pet, and your parents will see that you're a responsible young human being, all right? Good deal, man. Awesome. Congratulations. I hope to see your sanctuary when I'm an old man, and you are in your prime handling and helping animals, so that would be cool. So Slinky's doing good here today, everybody. We're having a fun time. Incredible, Emmy, thank you so much. I'm glad I inspired you to love reptiles. So many people inspired me to love them, uh, like Steve Irwin, but I was already loving him, but I just love Steve Irwin. And uh, good old Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, Godzilla movies, dinosaurs, all those monster movies inspired me to love these animals and to find out that they're not actually monsters. Look at our Slinky swim. He is just the best and he's getting big don't you guys think i think he's getting bigger man he's always shedding i think he's gonna be a real big handsome guy so that is awesome all right well i think we're doing good i'm gonna flip the camera so we can all hang out see each other uh there's slinks here i am i hope you guys can see me faith baker yes he is cute and i know you mean slinky look at him swim everybody so awesome he is the coolest Woo! All right, let's answer some questions. Uh, Gianna Piana, yeah, the Loch Ness Monster. Good old Nessie. That'd be a good name for a female, wouldn't it? Nessie. Uh, I love slinks. Come on, slinks. Uh, let's see. Love the videos. Christopher Collins, thanks for the live feed. Love your animals. Well, I'm glad you like the live feed. It frustrates some people, but uh, I do the live feed so we can all hang out, spend a little time together, answer some questions, and uh, you can see just what I'm doing as it happens. Now, I have the smell of death. Something is dead in the general vicinity. I think it's a dead rat, uh, and that's kind of a bummer because they just smell. I can't find it, though. It's been dead for like two days, and I've been looking for it. I always get nervous when I smell death because I, I worry that it's one of the animals, but it's none of the animals, thank God. Uh, but anyhow, I'll find out what died. There have been some rodents uh, native rodents. Look at how awesome he is when he swims, guys. Can you imagine what we're going to do at the sanctuary, everybody, when we build a huge enclosure for these animals so you can really see them in a very cool naturalistic environment? 
if you weren't paying attention earlier or you just jumped on the live feed, let me reiterate, guys. Uh, Kyle and I are meeting up today. We're going to be writing some things down. Uh, we're going to do some administrative work today for the sanctuary. We just got some cool logo designs in. I wanted to surprise Kyle with them. Uh, so I'm going to show Kyle some logos. Uh, we also have got... Um, we're waiting on our tax ID, but we are putting together a Patreon page as we speak that we will soon be able to go live with so you guys can help us build the sanctuary. All right. Now, since I mentioned Patreon, don't forget that these videos require your help as well. If you guys are able to do it, uh, it's, it's much appreciated. Go to patreon.com slash camp cannon and become a Patreon supporter. Honestly, folks, a dollar it really helps out, all right? I, I, you don't need to give me a bunch, you know, it's just basically for uh, the animals and keeping them fed, keeping the videos going. So I'm happy with 25 cents, a dollar, whatever you guys can spare, go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan and help us out to continue to bring all these fun videos and show off these animals. And more importantly, we learn here. That's what we're all about. We're not doing sensational videos trying to get clicks. We're trying to teach people and grow our audience organically, an audience of people that want to learn about these animals. So there may be some guys out there who are doing it quicker. They've got millions of subs, but you know what we got? We got the brain and we got the love of these animals. And we also have someone else. I think it was Tyler Willingham. Is that what you said? Oh yes, yeah, Stacy Willingham. Uh, hi, Tyler. Keep up the good work, buddy. And thank you so much for your contribution, for helping us out. Really appreciate it. Thanks, mom. It's moms like you that keep their kids interested in animals. I have a mom. She was awesome. She got me my first lizards and snakes and all kinds of cool stuff and taught me how to be kind to the animals that we love. So there you go. All right, let's answer a few more questions. What's the best way to contact you if you have a lot of questions? Go to patreon.com, best way. Uh, let's see. We want to see the Chinese box turtles. Unfortunately, they're way back up at the front of the pond. I can't get it, the front yard. Uh, why don't I keep tegus? Just don't have any. I used to have some, uh, but I don't have any tegus. I just uh, love them, but uh, they're not a tegu. Tegu is not something that I'm interested in having right now. Slinky is five years old, five or six, uh, and he's just growing so nicely, so handsome. Right, buddy? And look at this. He doesn't want my hand. He wants an egg or he wants a rodent or a fish. All right, what's up, Rosa Buenuelas? Buenuel, Buenuels? Sorry, so bad. Painfully white boy here. Um, I uh, want to say hello to you. You're in the Dominican Republic. That's very cool. Home of the rhinoceros iguana. All right, man. Uh, very cool. Uh, what's up, Roida? Thank you for the contribution, Roida Centrino. Appreciate that. I'm going to jump off right now, but I just want to say thank you. And don't forget, I'm trying to grow that Instagram. I'd love to get to 100,000 in a couple months. If you guys can help me, if you're not on Instagram, join up for Instagram. I do a lot of videos there as well. And uh, it's a fun place to see more of the animals in another relaxed way. I do Instagram stories. I do a lot of videos. And I just like to put up a lot of info on Instagram as well. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe here. And uh, we'll answer more questions later. We'll let Slinky slink away into the, into the, into the, <laughs> I'm stuttering. Into the distance goes Slinky. Ah, uh, yes. See you, everybody. Slinky will get about seven foot, seven foot, eight foot, nine foot, giant. Hey, see you later. Bye, guys. We've been off for half an hour. I gotta go. Bye-bye.